Back in the 1560s when the Europeans arrived, over 200,000 Timucuans were living in northern Florida in harmony with nature. They had a rich, unique culture which centered around their need to survive in nature. The Timucua lived in a friendship with the land. They usually lived next to rivers, waterways, or the ocean. Mostly the land was flat. The climate was warm, but they lived where breezes provided natural air conditioning. Winters would get cold. I hope you enjoy your trip through the life of the Timucua. Everyone in the tribe had a job to do. Men usually had a lot less work and more free time than the children and women. But it was riskier work. Men hunted, fished, and went to war. Women took charge of the house. They made pottery, leather, and collected nuts and fruits and cultivated vegetables. Children's jobs were similar to their mothers and they grew up fast. By the time they were about 11, they started getting adult responsibilities like hunting and cooking.
The men wore loincloths made out of deerskin for a few reasons. First of all, Florida can get hot, and they did not have any air conditioning back then. Secondly, they did a lot of swimming, canoeing, and other sports. Mormon's clothes were usually made out of smoked Spanish moss, worn as sashes and other decorations. Kids wore miniatures of their parents' clothing. When it got cold, they wore fur and sewed other garments. Canoes were built by burning a tree trunk and scraping the ashes out with oyster shells, forming a hollow inside. This took a whole month exactly. The Timucua believed in spirits, gods, and demons. The spiritual leaders were called shamans. They sometimes gave offerings to the gods for good crops. The Timucua started dying out when the Europeans came to Florida in 1562. Many died from diseases the Europeans brought with them. Some were killed in battles and others were taken as slaves. Some walked away from their culture to become Christians. The last Timucua, Juan Alonso Cabal, died in Cuba in 1767. Because they have no written history, we can only find out about the Timucua from their remains. 